All right, let's do the events. Let's do all tales. I use DKW Mary Moderna at least the team for the boss. It was a bit shaky, but clear the third boss. But I might need to plan the team more carefully. Fair enough. All right. <clears throat> I saw it. A sea of red eyes and of two blood at the sky. A collapsing city. People dying. Memories fading. I saw it all on that day. People refusing to save each other. Pushing others out of the way and leaving them to die. The death of dignity. I saw it. The light in the eyes being snuffed out. Mouth silenced forever. Hope fading away. Despair blooming. I lost my memories and dignity was a stranger to me. In the midst of the fading hope, despair gnawed at my heels. On that day, I also saw a previously unassailable enemy fall. It was the hope that I so eagerly desired but could not touch. Are you okay? Oh, small white baby, let's go! You don't have any injuries, can you stand? What is that in your hand? Some kind of steel pipe? Were you planning on going up against the raptures with that? Wow, you got guts. You've done well. We'll take over from here. Lady Vice. Yes, Commander. You've got ten minutes. I'll only need eight. And I'll give you an extra two for some showmanship. Oh, how exciting. I know what I'll do with my two minutes. I'm gonna do a dance. Showmanship, what should I do? I've been practicing tap dancing recently. Showmanship, uh, showmanship. Would you like to sing a song with me, Dorothy? I don't think that will be necessary. I said showmanship, not idle cheat chat. Heading into battle, they faced off against the raptures, the scourge of mankind. Hey, hey, wait! No cheap chat while I'm reloading. That's cheating. Red Hood, your magazine is loaded backwards! So, what's the big deal? I'm just eject backwards. Uh, I'm not sure that's how it works. <laughs> Showmanship, huh? There is no way two minutes is enough to show my. Dorothy, get down! Crawling doesn't suit me. I'd rather jump out of the way. That works too! Snow White, nothing's coming out of the staff. That's because you're holding it upside down. What is that team? They're just all fucking nerds. They're absolute fucking noobs. Get good! Get good at the game, team! Oh, whoops. Is this how I'm supposed to hold it? Hey, don't point it at me! Oh, sorry. That doesn't mean pointing it at me instead. <laughs> We need to get serious about this. That was a disaster. However, even though they were far from a well-oiled machine, and despite the fumbling, they defeated all the raptures. The gunshot and explosion stopped, as did the screams. The city became quiet. Who, who are you people? Us? Ah! Uh, what are you waiting for? Hurry up and say it. Are we really doing that? Of course, you know how important PR is. Uh, we, we are the goddess of victory. Humanity saviors. We're the goddess squad. <laughs> what is it? I can't believe you fell for that. Come here. No, I promise I won't do anything to you. They all sat down, the exhaustion palpable and visible. Their bodies were caked in dust and debris. And yet, I thought they were the most beautiful thing in the entire world. Ah, squeaky! Wake up. Abe, so her name is Abe. Did I fall asleep? Yeah, you were out like a light. I was dreaming about the time when I first met the goddess squad. Is there ever a day when you don't dream about that? I told you to wait until the test results came out, and here you are sewing logs. And the results? As always, you're all clear. What do you care? It's not like we've ever been placed in actual combat before anyway. All we do is waste time and money. When can we go out? Beats me. 
All right, get going. The others have to be tested as well. I can't wait for all those characters to not die. Okay. Cinderella stands and heads out to the waiting room. <gasps> Red shoes! She's got legs for days! Hansel and Gretel! Yatta! How do Tetris all go? Gretel and I are curious. Good to go. I can head out any time. So... Are you being deployed? No, not yet. Oh, I see. <laughs> I guess I got excited for nothing. She has huge legs! I'm disappointed, but Gretel is relieved. Oh. Little Mermaid, so pretty! Man, I can't wait for all those characters to be alive and well, for sure. She has a massive bubble she's sitting on. Oh, I love this so much. I want the same. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What's wrong, Siren? Uh, I get it, you're bored. Hang tight. Good news is coming our way soon. We think you're lying. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Next one, get in here. Damn, she ain't got no time for shenanigans. She ain't got no time for shenanigans. We don't see why there's such a rush. Uh, uh, is she not able to talk? With us as it may, this is important stuff. So we have to do it. For the love of... Time is money, you know? So quit standing around and wasting it. Get in here. We're coming. Hansel and Gretel head inside the room. How long are we gonna have to wait? It's not like I'm champing at the bits it tussle with raptures, but all this endless waiting. It's exhausting. We just have to wait a little longer. The time will come soon. When we can prove ourselves. Mm. Mm. What the? Why are you two coming in together? This test needs to be run individually. Gretel and I are a single entity. Get out! Who? Me or Gretel? Either one! Guess which is which? If you can guess which of us is Hansel and which is Gretel, one of us will go. Gretel is the one on the left? Wrong! Gretel is quite disappointed. Of course, so am I, given that we're of one body and mind. That kind of reminds me of the uh, the Claymore. I don't know if you guys have read Claymore, but it's like one of the, the top tier Claymore are twins that they work together. And they, uh, one of the sister, so like one of the Claymore transform into a half a monster, and the other sister is about to sink, can sink with her and help her stabilize her mind so she doesn't fully transform into a monster. Man, Claymore was a fun manga. Uh, uh. So she can't speak. Oh my god, it's like uni, so cute. Welcome back, Kate. Can we really be sent out on actual battlefield? I would assume so. Okay! So pretty! Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the beauty of them all? Oh shit, mirror is broken chat. Oh, oh crap, dude! Ah, oh, the puppy's so pretty! I love it! Oh, she's so cute! Alright, first of all... We... Oh, there's a shiny thing here. That's for the kitty. We have a song. Awesome. So, we can do the login stamp. We got two pools today. Hell yeah. For a total of two, three, five, ten pools here. We got a second anniversary Nikki selection box, which is great. A bunch of cool stuff. Alright, next. Uh, we have the story part. Hello, Minyopli, what's up? Oh, what is that? It's... Wait, let me finish watching this. What is this? 
It's a news report on the Goddess Squad's latest victory. I'm getting sick of this. Aren't you ever going to get tired of them? Watching beauty like this is merely the first step. They are what I aspire to be. You like them that much? Light doesn't even begin to describe it. Do you want to be a goddess? Yes, if they'll have me. Hmm, I'm disappointed. What do you mean? While you're limiting yourself, you should be aimed to surpass them. You should be... you should aim. Surpass a goddess? Is such a thing even possible? Whatever, just eat. Surpass. <laughs> Regardless of whether it's possible, thinking about it is exciting enough. Hmm. I'm great, thank you. I'm enjoying uh, the story. So got another shiny stuff here. Looking good, thank you very much. That looks like a treasure chest and I want to open it. But I can't. But there's a lot of question mark over there. The wings of victory. The massive sheep that soared through the sky with the goddess. At times I imagined the joy of flying on the wings of victory with the goddess. Reveling in the praise of countless spectators. Okay. Alright, story. Let's go. Oh, I'm sure the broken mirror doesn't mean that something bad happened, surely. Reward boost Nikkei. Looks good. Alright, let's go. Event 1-1. One, one. Alright. So we're obviously going to have you. We're going to put you here. Let's have black, uh, Sky Black Shadow here. Uh, let's have Rapunzel there. And then... I don't know. Whoever's fine. Uh, I mean, that's already 100%, right? So it, it's really whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> let's be real. Uh, let's see. Um, is she a 20 second cooldown ulti? Burst, I mean. She is. All right, good shit. So, burst two. I am going to be putting... Hey, Miki, what's up? Let's have Rouge. I'll put her there. And uh, I guess we can have Crown with the team. Twenty seconds here too. Crown MLB, you know it. Even Core 1, as a matter of fact. Where is Tia? Why do you care about Tia? I've got Tia down here somewhere. She's here. But I, I'm not using her. Um, Or the other option, obviously, is to go with Blanc here, I guess. But I feel like this is fine. Yeah. Cinderella. Uh, I did 180 pulls and I didn't get a single Cinderella. So the single Cinderella I got, I used millage, to, uh, millage tickets. So, you know, it is what it is. Test results are all normal. You're good to go. I have a question. What is it? Are we going to be deployed in actual combat? Most likely. They have sunk a small fortune into all of you and they're not liable to let that go to waste. When? I don't know. Wait. At uh, this rate, the war will be over by the time we're given the go-ahead. There's a war going inside your house? That's bad. Of course, when I say that, I mean... that we'll lose. Gretel and I think that we should be deployed as soon as possible. I agree. As do I. We know that our joining won't guarantee a victory, especially considering how those raptures are seemingly infinite. Let's just point to one of the display monitors in the lab. On the screen are the words Rapture Count, next to it is the infinity symbol. Nothing in this world is infinite. The only reason that symbol is there is because the raptures are being created at a rate faster than they're being killed. How do we know that for certain? If I explain it to you, would you even understand? Do you really want me to get into the nitty gritty of the algorithm? Please, go right ahead. It's not like I'll be listening anyway. 
You're making me upset again. <laughs> Don't mind her. Anyway, it's a bit embarrassing for me to be the one saying this. But our specs exceed that of the original Green's prototypes. We're next generation models, second generation Green's models to be exact. The sooner we deploy, the greater our chances of. How many times do I have to tell you? We haven't received any orders. If we help with that prior authorization, we'll be considered deserters and scrapped. Who'll be scrapping us? What? If anyone is thinking of scrapping me or Gretel, I'd like to see them try. So you're not only a moron, but arrogant as well. You think they haven't prepared for you to put up a fight? No, I don't think they would have. Abe, tell us the truth. I presume it has to do with vested interest. Yup. It's not like I haven't contacted the higher-ups. I'm constantly pestering them, asking when we'll be deployed. Every time I get the same answer, they haven't reached a decision yet. What hasn't been decided? We either go out or we don't. What's so complicated about that? If it were that easy, we wouldn't be waiting for as long as we have. You're all at the culmination of the finest technology of the United Forces of Humanity and VTC has to offer. Your power is supposed to surpass that of the Goddess Squad themselves. We can't possibly surpass them. No way. Again with that ridiculous fawning of the Goddess Squad. An astronomical amount of money has been invested in all of you. So the question of who gets to claim prop propriety over you all is a pressing question. Okay. Do you belong to the United Force of Humanity or VTC? There's a whole convoluted web of who contributed what technology, who footed the bill for what, etc. We're not able to settle up and ride out like a bunch of cowboys. It doesn't work like that. Oh, this is torture. Do you think this is fun for me? So there's no telling what the decision will be made. As I've told you a hundred times before, no. To squabble over personal interests when the fate of the world hangs in the balance. This is far from beautiful behavior. Enough of that nonsense about beauty. I've submitted all your results, so now we wait. Who knows, maybe this time will finally be approved for deployment. I doubt it. Oh, uh, um, everyone. I actually have something important to say. Oh, sorry, but it's time for the latest report. It looks like the guy squad won yet again. Hmm. Sorry, but I've got to watch it. So that scurries off. Should we stay and listen to you, Red Shoes? To be honest, we doubt there will be much of interest. Uh, no, unless we're all together, there's no point in me saying that I want what I want to say. We can talk more later. Okay. Sounds like something that was interesting to important to talk about, though. So like shame that we didn't get to talk about it. Ooh. Get up, team! Get up! <laughs> Alright, I'll just let you play your auto. I'm lazy. Victory is mine! Wow! <laughs> uh, baby, 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 cool. Alright, next! Uh, oh, Fabi Valentine! Hi! How was the uh, Honda? I don't know what it is. <laughs> Beautiful. I didn't know such beauty was possible. Are you staring at the mirror again? No. Look at this. See, there are points to the screen which shows the goddess quite fighting with raptures. Aren't they magnificent? You're seriously obsessed. Stop watching that and get out of here. Wait, this is the best part. It's Scarlet, the newcomer, and Dorothy's coordinated attack. Even though they don't seem that close, their coordination during battles is exceptional. This seeming discrepancy between everyday life and the thick of battles is beyond, beyond, 
is beautiful beyond worlds. words. If I were a member of the goddess squad, I'd think you were a creepy fanatic. Do you really want to be a goddess that much? Of course, nothing can surpass that. The pulchritude. What does that mean? It means beauty. Alright. Good grief. You could be with them as well. What? The goddess squad? Of course. What are you talking about? I'm just a mass produced Nikkei. Yeah, okay, that, that sells it. She's definitely grave, 100%. Didn't you volunteer to be a Nikkei? Yeah, why? You were a chief research at VTC. You're probably the only case where someone chose to be a Nikkei because you found a human habit of sleep to be an obstacle. They granted your wish and you became a Nikkei who didn't require sleep. That's how you were able to make us. So you're beautiful too. You even got to keep your memories, correct? That almost never happens for mass produced Nikkeis. It means you have an unbreakable spirit. So you are beautiful and therefore you can become a goddess. Retaining memories was a stroke of dumb luck. Being a goddess is a different level entirely. I don't think it was luck. You desired it and you achieved it. I wouldn't want to be a goddess anyway because there, you'd be obsessed with me. You got to see your favorite part, so hurry and get out here. I have something to tell you all. Is everyone here? Yes. Yeah. Ah! Oh no. Everybody listen up and don't freak out. We've been approved for deployment. What? Come again? No way. She can talk? Siren, don't talk. Oh, maybe she has a power when she talks, she mind controls people. Something like that. Like Sin, for example. Uh, I told you all to stay calm. Tell us more details. The United Force of Humanity and VTC have apparently somehow found common ground. They were extremely satisfied with the test result and wanted to put them to the test as soon as possible. This might seem anticlimactic, but only one person will be deployed initially. Who? The one with the best test result. Cinderella. Cinderella! Cinderella! So from what I remember, Cinderella was one in one of the manufacturing places or lab on the surface. Uh, but it got attacked before she was able to link up with the goddess of Vic, uh, the goddess squad. And she got corrupted. Right? So that's pretty bad. But we don't know if the rest of her squad was with her and got destroyed. Or if only her um, got corrupted. We don't know what happened to the others, I guess. Finally. Oh my gosh, why am I crying? Congratulations, Cinderella. It's finally happening. Mm -hmm. What's the mission? I'm begging you all, keep your hats on when I tell you these things. It hurts my ears when you freak out. It's a joint operation with the Goddess Squad. What? You're lying! Oh my gosh, Cradle spoke! Ah. Ah. What did I just say? I'm sorry, I can't... I can't calm down. Listen, the Goddess Squad is planning an attack on the lift. They're planning on imitating the Queen? Oh my god, so we're literally going straight up when everything went wrong. Okay, good shit. I can't wait for this to be sad. Correct. They're around the lift. Uh, the area around the lift is swarming with raptures. The weapon we're going to use to wipe them out is now inoperable thanks to codename Gluttony. The rapture that swallowed an ICBM and spat out its energy. They're very same. Furthermore, considering it's a rapture, we have to consider that it's not the only one of its kind out there. Cinderella, you'll be the new weapon that we're employing. Clear out everything that's between you and the lift. And clear a path for the goddess squad. <sighs> Will I be able to do that? Don't talk like that. You don't mean that. You're right. I'll succeed, no matter what. Glass Sleepers has been kept in tip-top shape. You'll be meeting up with the goddess tomorrow, so set today aside to rest. To rest. Beautiful. I'll go and do that now. Cinderella, besides herself with excitement, skips away. As for the rest of you, instead of standing around draining funds like there's no tomorrow, we should take a page of Cinderella's book. What? I was just joking. Won't you give me back talk like you usually do? 
We're not in the mood. Hmm. The three Nikkeis walk away dejectedly. So is Ansel and Gretel actually count as a singular Nikkei? Oh no, it's just that red tree stayed behind. You didn't get Cinderella and no break effect piece for Rapa. Womp womp. Jeez, I didn't mean anything by it. Well, they're happy for Cinderella. There's also some undeniable jealousy there. Times like this call for warm, comforting words. I know your intent was to rile them up and inspire them, but your timing was poor. It's okay. You can speak to them again tomorrow. You can tell them how much you believe in them then. You know that's not my style. That's precisely why it will mean so much to hear it. Cinderella's room. The goddess. A joint mission with the goddess squad. I need to sleep. Have to be in optimal condition so as not to impede them in any way. Hmm. I can't sleep. I tried for two seconds and a half. And it was too much. <laughs> I need to sleep, close eyes, I can't sleep, turns on the PC again, plays games. That's basically me when I'm trying to go to sleep. I sit in bed for like half a second and get back up and play video games until 6am. <laughs> as you do, as you do. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Got him. Next! Thank you for the backpack! Meow, 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 meow. Especially because someone bonked me for no reason. Cinderella walks through the common area and opens the refrigerator. There's not much to drink. Knock, knock. I like her, she has a unique way. Me too. Hearing, feeling, hearing and feeling a light tapping behind her. Cinderella turns her head to find Red Shoes standing behind her. Red Shoes. <laughs> I knew this would happen. Let me guess, you can't sleep. No, I wink. Here, drink this. What is it? I was able to get my hands on the tea that Dorothy is so fond of. Apparently it helps with sleeping. Drink it, you need to be well rested for tomorrow. Thanks. Red Shoes pulls out the chair and sits down. Why don't we have a little talk? We've been so busy with all these tests that we haven't had much time to sit down and talk. In anti-pause. Dude, I got a, I did 180 pulls and I did not get Cinderella. So don't talk about luck to me because I'm going to cry, okay? Why don't we catch up? Sure. Cinderella sits across Red Hood. Not sorry, Red Shoes. And sips the tea she was given. How are you feeling? Not sure. It doesn't feel real. It's like a dream. You applied to be a Nikkei so you could be like the Goddess Squad, didn't you? Yeah. I was lucky enough to talk to them during their first official mission. When they were still human? Yeah. Oh my gosh, no wonder you're smitten with them. My time with them was brief. But it was enough to captivate me entirely. They were so beautiful. I wanted to become like them. That's why you were so hard on yourself with everything. I realize this might sound strange, but I always wondered why you were striving so hard. It was as if you felt that this was only viable, that was the only viable path for you, and you were desperate to make it happen. I envy you, you achieved your dream. When you meet them again, what's the first thing you'll say to them? I'm not sure, maybe something like, I will kill you. Don't say you're a fan. Huh? Why not? The moment you say that, it will determine what your relationship with them will be. You'll never be on the same level as them. The Goddess Squad probably has high hopes for you, Cinderella. If you waltz in there and start fangirling, don't you think they'd feel let down just a tad? I understand what you mean. You can tell them later that you're a fan. As for tomorrow, just be the type of person that they can trust. Yeah, okay. At any rate, I'm crazy jealous. A joint mission with the Goddess Squad. If the others are feeling anything like me, I'm sure they're not getting much sleep either. Stop bonking me! It's okay, I'll wait. I got lucky, so I'm moving on to the next step, but I believe you will all catch up to me soon enough. So there's no need to be jealous. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. 
You laugh at me, but you forget I can ban you. <laughs> Red shoes. Yes, what is it? Why did you apply to be a candidate? Me? Hmm. I wanted to become famous and a desired power. That's surprising to hear. I realize it may sound absurd for a top researcher at VTC and high-ranking priest to say that. But those are indeed my true intentions. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna ban you just because you bonk me, but I like to frighten people. Only by moving my way up the corridors of power will I be able to acquire the knowledge I desire and accomplish what I wish to achieve. There is something I'm after in order to make it a reality. I require both power and knowledge of the secrets which currently elude me. What is that? To unify everything. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to keep the details a secret. Oh god, she's sussy baka right now. I don't like how sussy baka she's being right now. She's being a little bit too sussy baka. That's unfair. You made me tell you everything. Chalk it up to me being envious of you getting to work with the goddess squad. Fine. Red Shoes gets up from her seat. Good night, Cinderella. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night. Oh, yeah, see me next time! Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's a lot of ammo. Those two lines are doing work, baby. That's the way we do it. That's the way we do it. I got the, the upsy daisy. Next. I'm. I'm cl clueless. And I don't know why. Well, I can't tell you either. Event 1.5. Let's go, baby. Uh, that's the last one we can do today until uh, the reset happens. Wake up. Hmm. I thought you'd be too nervous to sleep, but you were out like a log. Yeah. The Goddess Squad will be here within the next three hours. We need to make some final adjustment before you join them. Final adjustment? That's right. You don't want to embarrass yourself, do you? I'd imagine not. Red shoes. A handle main adjustment and rituals will be assisting. We were once known as the brain of VTC. We'll make you perfect. Nothing in the entire world will be more beautiful than you. Thank you. Maintenance room. First, we'll tweak your link with glass sleepers. Then we'll move on to your body itself. We'll find you in everything from your strength and responsiveness to your endurance. Won't that take a while? Don't worry, you won't be late. Do you realize how many times I've done this? Don't forget that I'm here helping as well. Okay. Good. Let's start with the catalyst. Try deactivating your coding. The needle won't go in. All right. Man, your exterior is nearly impenetrable. Well, it was you who made her after all. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure I can penetrate her. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for the bad bad Kate. I think I did almost too good of a job. That you did. Two hours later, the sound of machines, even red shoes, breathing and footsteps all echoes throughout the maintenance room. Cinderella. Huh? Do well out there. I believe in you. Yeah, you can trust me. When you eliminate the queen, this will all be over. What will you do then? Not sure. I haven't decided anything yet. Maybe I'll just enjoy a peaceful world. And gaze at the point where the horizon meets a cloudless sky. And also look in the mirror, I bet. <laughs> That's right. If the goddess squad gives you a hard time, let me know. And I'll give them a talking to. <laughs> okay. You're gonna do just fine. You're the most beautiful person I know. Don't allow yourself to be intimidated and show off that beauty of yours. To the fullest. I will. So Red Shoe still hasn't told us what you wanted to tell us in the first chapter. The first part. All the adjustments are finished. Am I perfect? Of course. Now get up. You need to leave. It's time for you to head out and fight. 
Oh man, I'm so excited for you. Cinderella sits up. My body feels lighter. Thank you, I won't let you down. Cinderella steps forward as she opens the maintenance door. Three familiar faces greet her. Siren, Hansel, Gretel. I've been chosen to go first, but I trust that you all won't be far behind. Ow, ow. We think you're being a little, ego a little egotistical, so we figure we ought to knock you down a peg. <laughs> I'll welcome it. Come on, I'll see you off. You just want to catch a glimpse of the goddess squad. Well, you're not entirely wrong. I do want to see them. All of you, don't be scared. If you start acting goofy in front of the goddess, in front of the goddess squad, I'll never forgive you. Be confident and don't be afraid to show you some initiative. <laughs> it's a mermaid holds up a, a placard with determined expressions. What is that? You're not gonna hit the goddess squad with it, are you? She says she's going to get an autograph. Ah, she's so cute! When I said show initiative, that's not exactly what I meant. When you think of someone else, we see Abe. I'm pretty sure she's grave. She has to be grave. I mentioned it. Ah, you were not there, right. But I mentioned that she literally has the same hair as grave. Well, not literally. But it's pretty similar. Because if you look at her face, see? She has like... A kind of messy hair on top. Same hair color. And then the long bangs, I guess. And she kind of has something similar here, see? Messy hair and longer bangs here. And uh, we also know that Grave is... Um, she used to be a mass-produced Nikkei. And she literally said, like in Chapter 2, that she's also a mass-produced Nikkei. And Peen? Peen? Oh! Yeah, but that's because they're mass-produced, right? But you... I mean... Actually, you're right. It could be Peen. Because at the end of the day, they are literally mass-produced. So, you know, it's possible. And didn't... Also, didn't... Um, Grave said that her face is completely, like, blown up. So, it's possible that somehow, you know, she got shot in the head... And she, because she was saying how she didn't want to remove a mask because her face was too scarred, right? It's possible that somehow Abe just lied and called herself Peen. And then she got her face blown up. And now that her face is fixed, like, you know, she's back to looking like this, right? It's, you know, it's possible. That would be, that would be absolutely bananas. That would be absolutely bananas. I feel like it might be unlikely, but... Who knows? Who knows? Because I feel like Nikkei is very sad, but they kind of managed to find a way to go around it and make things kind of be happy too. Gretel and I think asking for an autograph is tacky. So we're going to ask for a picture. You're all going to be the death of me. <laughs> the five second generation Grimm's uh, models, along with the genius technician who created them, walk down the hallway. Cinderella is overcome with emotion. For a moment, a heroic and mythical narrative flashes through her mind. Thinking that such notions are a bit grandiose even for her, she chuckles and shakes her head. And that's when the problem happens. What was that? She thought she heard something, but it didn't appear to be any sound. She does feel like she bumped into something. However, something preventing her from going forward. Cinderella lifts her head and looks in front of her. There is nothing blocking her way, but she is unable to go forward. Something invisible is blocking her path. What's going on? Cinderella sees something strange. She hasn't moved, yet she can see herself walking down the hallway with the others. The surreal scenes puts her at a loss for words. Hmm? They really went with a, a more cartoonish, like... Um, for like all those scenes, they really went with a more cartoonish, comic-ish like design for the art. Her squad mates are laughing and talking, but in the center she herself remains expressionless, gazing straight ahead. Has she already been corrupted? Did Red Shoe corrupt her? Because she participated in like the maintenance? 
And so the reason why she sees them is because she's actually like stuck inside the body. She's still aware of what's going on, but she's no longer in control. Because they did mention that when they're corrupted, they can still see what's going on. They are aware of what's going on, but they can't control themselves. They're kind of like stuck. Cinderella isn't able to understand what's happening. Am I dreaming? Then she sees it beyond the invisible barrier. Her eyes are turning red. Told you! Told you! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! As I said, Red Shoes was talking about how she wanted everyone to be united. She's cray cray! She's cray cray! Ah, oh, dude! That's so bad! Eee! That's a big yikes in my books! That's a big yikes in my bookity! Oh, we don't like this at all. No siree. We don't like this at all. Oh god, we're gonna see the rest next time! Oh no, we have something here. Cinderella's body separates from glass sleepers. With a heavy sound, glass sleepers begin to change. What are you doing? Why is glass sleepers entering attack mode? We think Cinderella wants to impress the goddess squad. Oh? Impressing them is one thing, but attacking. Wait, what's happening to your eyes? Beam shoot out of Cinderella's body and hit glass sleepers, fracturing to a dozen of disparate rays. The singe and pierce through the very air around them. What? <laughs> yeah! The ground, the group staggers to their knees as Cinderella fires off another beam. Everyone falls to the ground. Once the beam have destroyed the hallway, they continue to ravage the entire facility. Explosion rings out from all directions as the building begins to collapse. She's been corrupted. When? Cinderella continues to pelt her fallen comrades with beams. Little Mermaid pushing through the pain. Opens her mouth with a great struggle. I knew it. She had some mind control. So she was the first generation to have a power like uh, Maiden. Stop. Cinderella freezes and halts her attack with glass slippers. Uh, go to sleep. Thud. Cinderella punches Little Mermaid in the jaw, who crumples and collapses to the ground. She tries to move her mouth to speak, but the jaw has been shattered. Oh my god, that's bad. Cinderella sits down on the chest of the fallen Little Mermaid and goes to pummel her in the face. Siren. Cinderella looks down at Little Mermaid, whose jaw has been pummeling to nothingness. She then stands up and grabs Red Shoe's legs. No, don't! Cinderella, stop! That's not good. Remember when I said that I had a bad feeling about what happened to your friends? Yep, that's about it. That's the bad feeling I had. I'm very sad because Little Mermaid looks so cute. Red Shoe's legs are torn off. Gretel, Hansel. She also severs the hands of Hansel and Gretel, who are holding tightly onto one another. She turns around and lets out a victorious roar. It's a calling sign. Cinderella turns around and walks down the hallway satisfied. When she opens the door at the end of the hallway, a cloud of dust can be seen in the distance. A sea of raptures are heading this way. Cinderella. In a moment right before the door slams shut, all Abe sees is a pair of lifeless red eyes. Lifeless. Meanwhile, the real Cinderella, blocked by an invisible wall, can only watch a tragedy unfold before her and scream. Uh, memories that are fervently sought to be erased have surfaced from deep within. Sweet whispers can be heard from the blood red mirror. Oh god, that's not good. Oh, I hate it here! Well, they, this is not great. Oh, there, new memory. Go and show them. Turn the Greta Squad into your subordinates. Greta and I think that Cinderella won't be able to outperform the Goddess Squad. Huh? 
I hope you'll be strong too. But to surprise the goddess quite is a bit. You idiot! You should you should be cheering her on. <laughs> Don't worry. When I come back, I'll be more beautiful than the goddess god themselves. Um. So either it was during the maintenance, or it was a drink that she gave to Cinderella. I I don't see who it could be apart for from Red Shoes, honestly. Was that different? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let me switch to uh, English keyboard. Uh, in the mirror, it's an action adventure game that explores a mysterious world. All right, let's go. Make your offer kindly but firmly. It's important to make it seem like they have a choice. Bam. Uh, basic movement: Control Cinderella with the joystick on the lower left of the West Keys. Press the jump button on the lower right of the space bar to uh, terrain obstacles. Basic attack button to launch left mouse button to launch basic attack. Uh, the auto aim feature is available on mobile devices for targeting enemies. Cinderella's skill can be unlocked during the game. Complete my mission, defeat the alien boss, you unlock them. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's go! Lock in time! Thank you for stopping by and for the lurk. I appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Have a good one. The way to accomplish something you think is impossible is to overlay images of something sometime. If persuasion seems impossible, take with attack what they hold dear. While looking down, press the jump button to descend certain terrain. Damn, those messages are pretty rough. Let's go left. I see the map. Okay. Uh, we definitely need like a double jump here. So let's go right side again. Take what they all dear, like that was like the arms. It was all of their weapons, right? The jaw, the legs, the arms. That was fucking brutal, dude. Um, there are interactions scattered throughout the map. Press the interact button near them to complete the action. Certain entities may change the status during interactions. Okay. Okay. Well, we did something with that. Give them what they want, then slowly shatter their things. That's bad. The overlay of the image of the person you despise the most. Uh, touch pedal, shape, bla uh, glass fragment, your game progress will be automatically saved. This includes a collection of item modules, currency, cores, and map progressions you've made. The game ends up when you continue playing, the game will resume from the last save point. Well, I've got a new save point, so I'll call it here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we got some progress, good shit. I'll play more of it later, I think. Quit the mirror. For now, we will do... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There were some uh, missions. Because I want to move around a bit more. L let me see here real quick. There's also the challenge I want to do. I want to check the shop too. The challenge is try again. Will this be the most emotional story of 2.x? We'll find out. Okay, daily missions. Eliminate Rapture. Okay, we gotta, we gotta do the dailies. Let's continue. How are you doing today, Senna? Devastated. Still with you, MLB. Uh, I did a hundred, a hundred and eighty pulls, and I didn't get a single Cinderella. By the way, I kind of messed up with the recording, and um, whoops, I recorded way longer. I, I forgot to put, to stop the recording. So I don't know if you still want me to send you the file, or if you'd rather just pull it from the VOD. Uh, we can also take like the five first events and uh, make a video of it if you want. 
But I didn't record that though, because I wasn't sure what how you wanted to to do that. So it will be in the vods definitely. But yeah, my bed. But that should be something you can do. Um, I think. You can probably just like, instead of downloading the entire VOD, you can probably just make a collection out of it. And then only download like a little, uh, like... Uh, essentially, you can make a highlight. And be like, okay, the highlight is like those 40 minutes. And then you can download that, I think. The second letter. Mom, I miss your cooking. I just want to lie around and watch TV. Before the war broke out, I got a new computer set up. I'm sure it will destroy by now. Then those raptured bastard. Speaking of which, the newest sneaky model, the successor to the goddesses, is joining our squad. I think her name is related to a fairy tale. If she tags along, we're sure to win, and then maybe we'll get some leave. Do you think I could visit the shelter uh, where you're at? I just want to lie in bed and sleep. Don't worry about me, mom. Just make sure you're sleeping well and eating properly, okay? I miss you. Memories are hidden the items scattered throughout the, the map. Oh, okay. Lovely, Sana. Use the memory to gain additional information. You can view the memories you have collected in the pause collection item screen. Sounds good. Oh, that's just a hole. Good to know. I thought that would lead me to another place. This mini game is so cool. I mean, if you can call that a mini game, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> so I'll upload the the polls and send them to you. And uh, for the story part, we'll see together. Did you get uh, did you did you get Cinderella though? Hey, on the bright side, Cinderella and stuff there won't be um, temporary characters, so they will be in the permanent pool, which is cool. I didn't read my DM at all then. Oh, yeah, I remember, that was you. I forgot that was you. So I think you said that you didn't get her, but you had enough to get one Cinderella and you still have enough to get one grave or something like that in terms of tickets. Yeah, yeah, I was re I read that like yesterday night when I was like half busy, so I don't necessarily get all the information like maintaining my head if that makes any sense. It's nothing against you, really. I think when I received your message, I was watching SAO. So, you know. You have enough points for grave? Sounds good. Same. Alright, let's save. Surely that should be enough for the daily missions. Uh, title? There we go, lovely. Good stuff. All right, quit the mirror. Yes, please. All right, let's see here. We have this area that's unlocked now. Ah. Oh. Now go kill everyone. Do it for the goddesses. Everything for the goddesses. Mm -hmm. The memory shard. Hello. Another shiny thing. Hello. 
My legs! Cinderella, my legs hurt! Give me back my legs! They're fine. Thanks, Flarp. Gretel, where's your arm? Where's yours, Hansel? Who did this? Cinderella. 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 Mm-hmm. All right, so... There should be some shiny somewhere. I don't know where they are. I'm not in a hurry. Uh, where's the challenge? Oh, we can go inside the mirror here. Oh, so she sees people... You, you could see the raptors... Or like the, the monster transforming into... Uh, the raptor transforming into a human body. Kill those who resemble you, deceive them, mock them. That's not very nice to mock them. We don't like that. It's bad behavior, woo. What's over here? Testing, testing. Is this thing working? Nice, I'm going crystal clear. Dang, I look pretty cool. Right then, what was the first question? What is a rapture? Uh, how would I know? I'll tell you one thing for certain though. They're trying to destroy us and are both incredibly strong and high number. Damn. They are enemies and must be defeated. Rather than wonder about what they are, it's more important to think about how to take them down. Everyone would do well to remember that. Raptors are out there to get us, and not because of anything so be uh, banal of human ideologies. They are humanity's worst enemy, simple as that. I don't know. Another one! Oh, there's whales! Can you forgive the enemies of the goddess squad? No, I cannot. Do you feel anger toward their enemies? Yes, I feel anger. Then what should you do? I will kill them all. They intend to deceive the goddess squad. I will call those who intend to lead the goddess squad to their deaths. Show them your strength and will. Do not show mercy to those who look like you. Punish them. Be cruel to them. Oh boy. Yes, I will punish them. I will instill fear in their hearts. Good. Be angry. Hate them. Oh boy! Channel that anger and hatred. And use it to defend the goddess. Well! That's all fine and dandy. Ah, uh, what do we have here? Challenge time! Bup bup. Um... Mm, Scarlet, I guess? Fuck him up! Fuck him up! I need to fix my camera because it's uh, it's messing up. It's messing up, messing up, messing up, messing up. The train. All right, good stuff. I get to us all three pool. One pool, two pool, 
Everybody's getting samples, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'll do like a pulling session when I get like a hundred pulls on the basic banner here. Uh, not here. Not here. Not here. There. I got 93. When I got 100, I'll do like 100 pulls. That's kind of fun to do, I think. Uh, there's something else in Old Tales. Let me see. 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 And I also got the, the, the new code that you dropped. Oh, we should have some missions, right? <laughs> Thank you. Challenge. Arigato. Uh, now let me see the shop. The glass jewelry box. Box. Uh, there's more pools here. I think I'll save and get the, the title first. Uh, then I'll go do this, do that. Alright, good stuff. Alright, so let's go back to the main menu. And after having done that, um, I'll do the main story. Uh, or as much as I can. Where is it pinging me still? What you want? What do you want from me? What do you want? Oh, the anniversary pass. I don't need to be here to take that though. Ah, alright. It is what it is. Today we are actually diving into day two of all tales. Uh, cause I'm not actually buying the tickets to do more of the story at once. I'm too lazy for that. I don't want to use my, my, my diamonds or whatever my premium resources for those so uh yeah here we are it's day two so we'll be able to go up to uh events 10 which is pretty cool so last time we kind of ended on a very uh on a very spicy note so let's put it this way that was pretty harsh so um let's see how it goes from there and i assume it's gonna go in a direction that uh it's gonna be a bit upsetting so let's jump into the story right away hi Hi! Uh, the third star with signal, but life goes on. Life does go on. As a matter of fact, it's true. Alright, event 1-6, let's see. Oh, that music, though. Ooh. Cinderella, rains down blows. Rains down blows upon the barrier. Punching and kicking. She unleashes the full fury of glass sleepers. She screams, begs, and shrieks. The invisible wall never breaks. The double ganger proceeds to the lift, after which it stands still. It doesn't attack any raptures, nor is it attacked by them. At this point, it could be considered a rapture itself. Is anyone alive? Do they resent me? Will they think of me as a traitor? Will they come to save me? Cinderella gets up and walks toward the invisible wall. Whack, 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 sad, sad, sad. Wack wack sad sad. Give it back. Give it back. <gasps> it's mine. That face, that body. Glass slippers. The mine. Mine, I said. Mine, 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 mine. Give it back. Oh, she's not happy. I'm Cinderella, not you. Give it back. Damn, that voice actress is going ham. The invisible wall is unaffected. Despite the ceaseless stream of punches she rains upon the barrier, there is no pain in her fist and she sustains no injuries. And so she continues to punch. Finally, the scenery beyond the wall changes. Someone is running towards her. Seven people. They are advancing through a horde of raptures, large enough to cover the entire area. The God Squad. The scenery beyond the wall changes again. The red-eyed doppelganger fires numerous beams onto the goddesses. No, don't! The fusillade of beams continues mercilessly, again and again and again, until the goddess squad begins to disappear. The first fade away slowly, until they vanish entirely. The goddess squad is planning an attack on the lift. They're planning on eliminating the queen. Correct. The area around the lift is swarming with raptures. The weapon we're going to use to wipe them out is now inoperable thanks to code name Gluttony. The rapture that swallowed an ICBM and spat out its energy. The very same. Furthermore, considering its rapture, we have to consider that it's not the only one of its kind out there. Cinderella, you'll be the new weapon that we're employing. Clear out everything that's between you and the lift. And clear a path for the goddess squad. Uh -huh. 
I handed them. I knew the operation and I thwarted it. I held the goddesses back. I was supposed to open a pass for them. But instead I held them back. I wanted it so bad. I wanted to fight with them. Cinderella is in despair. Her wish has crumbled before her very eyes. What is this, Danganronpa? Meanwhile, she can see the eyes of the goddess looking at her. Not with a warm gaze filled with the expectation that she had longed for. Instead, they were looking at her as if she were a monster. Cinderella looks at a reflection in glass slippers. A haggard face looks back at her. A pair of dreamless eyes that have lost all sense of purpose. She is no longer... No longer beautiful. No longer beautiful. Who is this? Who are you? Who am I? In that moment, countless mirrors rise up, reflecting Cinderella's image back at her. Mirror, mirror, who am I? There is no answer. Mirror, mirror, who am I? Still no answer. Mirror, mirror, who am I? It's not important who you are. Damn! Okay, well, good shit. Uh, my, I feel so bad for Cinderella. Poor girl. I'm still thinking that Red Shoe was the culprit. I don't know. I mean, she seems to be the most likely culprit, right? She participated in the maintenance. She, she gave us a special drink, right? I feel like it's most likely... I, I would not expect... And she mentioned about everybody being unified. So I feel like it most likely is Red Shoes. Because, like, the other option would be Grave or, like, Abe. But there's no way she would do that, considering how much she... How much she likes Cinderella. I don't think she would ever do that. I guess we'll find out eventually. I mean, hopefully. Mirror, mirror, who am I? It's not important who you are. You can choose for yourself. Unidentified entity rapidly approaching. Attacking. The enemy is armed with high-powered laser-based weapons. Our attacks aren't working. They're bouncing right off it. Long-range weapons. You need to annihilate it. Approaching. That guy is not having a good time. Mirror, mirror. I want to become a goddess of victory. I want to offer hope to mankind and be a comrade to the goddesses. That is very simple. If you help the goddesses, then you will be one of them. Is that one of the second generation Grimm's models? She's been corrupted. How do we stop it? It's running through us like a hot knife through butter. What do you mean we can't stop it? Call the goddess squad! What? I could possibly be more urgent than this. Mirror, mirror. What do I have to do to help the goddesses? Kill their enemies. Slash and burn them. Decimate them. Then the goddesses will be happy. The final defense line has been breached. Damn it, it's toying with us. It's as if it's testing out different techniques on purpose. What a hellish creature. Mirror, mirror. Can you tell me who is the enemy of the goddesses? Of course. Kill everyone who resembles you. Deceive them. Mock them. It's here! Run! Everyone, run! Save me! Save me, please! Help me! Me of mirror. Aren't those who resemble me all comrades of the goddesses? I cannot understand you. They are deceiving the goddesses. I mean, to be fair, they ain't wrong. To be fair, the goddesses were betrayed by humanity. Only you can save them. Only you. The goddesses are in pain. If you do not help them, they will be deceived. Not lying! And fall to the ground. What a lamentable fate that would be. For their noble journey may go unrewarded. She, no, it is no longer a protector. She may have been designed to protect humanity, but now she's nothing but a filthy traitor siding with ruptures. From this moment on, we will categorize it, and any others like it, as a heretic. This foul creature no longer deserved the noble moniker of Greens. And so we'll now refer to it as Anachiro. I will do it. I will save the goddesses. I will kill everyone. 
Very good. You're a most benevolent child. How great my relief is. Now go, kill everyone. Do it for the goddesses. Yes, for them. Yes, everything for the goddesses. Everything for the goddesses. Everything for the goddesses. Everything for the goddesses. Everything for the queen. Everything for the queen. Damn. I'm so confused because I like considering like the the previous the the 1.5 anniversary events knowing who the queen is like what happened is the queen transferable between Nikkei's I don't know what's going on can the queen change body or is it like an alternate body thing it was like Marion. I don't know, dude. I have so many questions, so many mysteries. Good, it's done. Uh, please work. One, two, three. Huh? They're alive! What if it is a concept? Yeah, but that's still vague. It doesn't explain why. Because I assumed there was a queen before Marion became a heretic. Which means that Marion then became the queen. So the queen went from one person to the other. So the question is, how does that process work either way? Ah, uh, it worked. You survived. Eh, uh, what happened? Cinderella, she... It wasn't a dream, was it? No, there was no dream. Gretel and I are alive. More or less, you were half dead. What happened? Where is this place? First, let's finish your repairs. Red shoes, some help. Okay. Soon after. Her arms hurt. You have to deal with it. It's a miracle that you that I even have you up and running. Besides, you're better off than Siren. She lost her jaw. And Red shoes lost her leg. Gretel says it hurts a lot. I know, we're all hurting badly. But we're all gritting our teeth and pushing through the pain. Greta will have to do the same. We don't like pain. Who the hell does? Stop whining! We're in pain. I know that, stop! It's not our body that hurts. It's our Kokoro. We believe it's our heart that's in pain. Cinderella... Did she betray us? Siren, don't talk. What if our Kotodama activates, if you're Kotodama? Who... my Kotodama did nothing. The Queen's movie for Chatterbox feel like should be one, I feel like. Oh, true! Maybe... you know what? Maybe Chatterbox calls my Queen anyone he seems for. You're actually correct, Desti. Very, very fair. Maybe the Queen is not the Queen of the Rapture, it's just whoever Chatterbox seems. Get actually, you know what? Based. <laughs> Wait, are we the chatterbox because we seem the Nikes? It's chatterbox a metaphor for the player base? Oh, mind blown. Cough, cough, cough. There was nothing wrong with the spell. Your jaw was pounding into a pulp. I managed to reattach it, but barely, so don't talk too much. If something were to go wrong, your life would be in danger. Uh, As for Cinderella, she's been corrupted. Everyone is calling her Anachiro now. I don't know where she could have possibly contracted it. But that's the conclusion everyone has reached. Right now, she's... Uh, she's considered an enemy of the people. In a sense, she's doing quite well, but not exactly in the way we intended. At least everyone is... alive. Is safe? I guess. I thought we were done for. Don't even bring that up. I went through hell. After we got pummeled by Cinderella, the raptures invaded the research lab. Did you all hear was she? Um, did you all hear it when she used the calling sign signal? Yes, I heard it. It's meant to attack raptures to whatever location it's emitted from. I can't believe she was able to do that. The raptures came in and smashed everything to pieces. It's a miracle I was intact enough to move you all to the internal shelter. Thank you. I know it wasn't easy for you. Well, one upside of you all having a few parts ripped off was that it made you lighter. 
A joke. Just a joke. Anyway, after dragging you all in here, I put you in emergency repair enclosures. I was going to repair you, but didn't have any spare parts to work with. So I had to go back outside into the lab to find your spare bodies. That was reckless of you, Abe. What else could I have done? Left you all to die? When I got there, it was quite a sight to behold. Mass produced sneakers guarding the facility were getting cut down in giant swaths by the raptors. It's terrible to say, but I distracted the raptors enough so that I was able to move around the lab unimpeded. Before long, I was able to get to where your spare bodies were stored. In other words, to use them as a shield. In a way, yes. It should have helped. I can't fight. And you all are more valuable than any amount of mass produced units. True. Abe! What? If I joined the fight, we all would have been toast. If it weren't for me, you all would have been left to die. Instead of rebuking me for not taking part in a suicide mission, you should be thanking me for saving lives. If you're not going to thank me, just keep your mouth shut. Damn! Yeah, you tried to clap against Abe, she's gonna clap back. I'm sorry. Thank you, Abe. Jeez, I practically had to force it out of you. Anyway, after securing the parts, I somehow made it back to the secret base connecting to the shelter. For the next two months, I slaved away struggling to fix you guys. Two whole months? How much have things changed in the meantime? Nothing too drastic. We're still getting our butts handed to us by the raptors. Hey, you, Jose! What's up? But why did you do it alone, Abe? You say it took two months to repair us. It's strange that you didn't have any support. It sounds arrogant to say this, but... We're a second generation green model. It's rather odd that no one offered to help you. The communication device is broken. I was going to fix it after I was finished with you. It shouldn't take long to fix something like that. You don't know how badly it's broken. It's way above my skill level. I need to relax. I haven't had any rest for the past few months. Just chilling. Hell yeah. I thought that's the entire reason I became an EK, but then we started to say the day I said when I actually couldn't get any sleep. Hell. We're grateful to you, Abe. We'll let you get some rest. Thanks, I'm touched. You all stand guard. If anything funny happens, wake me up immediately, okay? How? Okay. That evening... Can I tell a nice thing? Abe snoring is goddess level. <laughs> we can hear it all the way from over here. How? What's happening to Cinderella? Hmm. We know. Any Nikis were corrupted or disposed of, no exceptions. She sided with the raptures. She's no longer a comrade. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. We don't understand what you mean. Oh. She could come back. <coughs> you shouldn't speak. Red shoes, I think things like that have ever happened before. No, not even once. We look back through the record of VTC, there wasn't a single case. There are cases where they were able to resist for longer periods, but... How? So, what should we do? When we see Cinderella next, we'll be able to reason with her. No, it will be impossible to speak with her. What then? We will probably end up having to fight. No, I love Little Mermaid, she's so cute. I look around the facility for a bit. I think you're just trying to avoid an awkward situation. You're not wrong. Control room. <sighs> I can't calm down. Gotta get a grip. Huh? The communication cables. They've been cut. This make it seems like Red Shoes is not actually the culprit, so I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. Yeah, I don't know, man. The plot thickens. The thought plottens. I wish I could thicken. All right, let's see here. We have another one. Another one. 
The next day. <sighs> I can't remember the last time I slept. It's been an entire day. They give the bad pat. Oh, the bad pat is broken. Let me fix the bad pat. There it is. All good. I should tell them. I really hate this. Ape slowly gets up and walks out of the room. As she fumbles with the door, she hears a commotion on the other side. Well, it's hard to tell exactly how many people are inside. There are at least more than four. What the? Ape quickly opens the door and rushes out. There you are. Oswald! How did you? I received a message from Red Shoes. Red Shoes, what did... Hmm? The only issue with the comms equipment was that wires were cut, so I fixed it and contacted them. I'm glad they came as quickly as they did. Oh. Since you're always dealing with such advanced technology, perhaps you've forgotten the basics. This is driving me crazy. Hey, what's going on with you? We need support. These people have come to capture you all. What? Damn it, look at them! They're fully armed. With entire personal weapons, no less. All second generation Grimm's models have been branded as traitors. Osvaldo! Why are you such an asshole? Osvaldo, stop being a bitch, please! You're being a, a little poopy! You're being a little poopy man, dude! We don't like you, stop it! Man, Oswald was nice once when he had red he helped Red Hood. From there he's being downhill. Have we seen Oswald in the present? Have we ever seen him? Maybe he's chatterbox. That's probably after this. Oh yeah, definitely. We don't understand what you're saying. In the center government's eyes, you're all being treated the same as Cinderella. You consider traitor who have turned their back on the humanity inside with the raptures. We still don't understand. Ah! Oswald, is this true? You are not considered traitors. I knew it. It is true, however, that you suspect of being traitors. Huh? I will say, Oswald is pretty handsome, though. He has that look about him that, uh, He has that look where, like, he's gonna ruin my life, you know what I mean? Like, when he's done with me... I'll be, like, mentally broken. Does it, like, come on, look at his eyes. It feels like if he has, like, if he gets interested in you, you're fucked. Everyone, get ready. Let's run. Well, would you announce your plan out loud like that? What are you going to do about it? Do you think you can stop us? Don't forget that it was I who made these guys. No more bullets won't put a dent in them. Is that so? Oswald, there's been some misunderstanding. You stay back, Red Shoes. You know us. How can we be considered traitors? I'm warning you, stay away from me. Don't be like that. Let's talk. Fire. Doot, 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 doot. Oh, they're firing the, uh, <laughs> the sandstorm. Doot, 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 doot. Oh no! Wait! The bullet actually hurt her? What is this? An experimental suppression round developed by for Cinder. I mean, an Achiro. It sends shock to the nervous system and renders the victim unconscious. We're still in development stages, so we thought we'd need to make some adjustments. However, as you can see, they're quite effective already. All second generation Green Small have unique exterior shells. But it didn't stop these bullets, so we're clearly heading in the right direction. You son of a... Come with us. If you follow us willingly, we won't have to use any further force. Also, tell me, what do we need to do to do to clear our names? Are you traitors? No, never. There's no need to worry. All you have to do is come with us and submit to an inspection. What kind of inspection? First, we will check for any trace of corruption. Currently, the United Force of Humanity, or rather the central government, suspect that the second generation Green's model were contaminated during the development stage. What a lot of horseshit. Horsish? Horseshit? Oh, it's just she's interrupting herself. It's a perfectly reasonable concern. Otherwise, how could Cinderella, who had never been deployed in actual combat, have been corrupted to turn into an Achiro? If you're harboring any doubts about me, spit it out. Very well. Yes, we do have our doubts about you. Yet you insist that you're innocent. So all you have to do is prove the fact to us. Is that all we need to do? 
No, there will be additional inspections, including a brain scan. This process is still in the development stages, but they say it can reveal almost everything about the Nikkei. If you pass that test, then you will be allowed to remain a second-generation Grimm's model. Brain scan? I heard you need to open up the brain for that. That's a rumor. It's not that primitive. I saw the official document from VTC. I'm telling you, that's not how the procedure works. I also read that 90% of Nikkei's wonder when the procedure died on the table. Where are these supposed documents you speak of? No such paperwork exists. Anymore, you mean? Who is saying that you're lying? I only heard of three second generation models being developed. Cinderella, Red Shoes and Siren. Who are these twins? Are they Nikkei's? Scan these nuts! Red Shoes is being sus here. I don't know, dude. Draken, thank you so much for- Draken. Draken, thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. Welcome. Are you asking about me and Kato? Hansel, quiet. Why? Just be quiet. It seems that more thorough investigation is needed. We're going to restrain you. If you resist, we will open fire. Everyone load suppression rounds and prepare to fire. Do you really think we're going to meekly go along with you? Whoosh, click click. A mechanical device emerges from our Abe's collar. <gasps> oh shit! Look at that! The mask is here! Grave is ready to battle! I say she did something to Cinderella, she does not want to get brain scanned. Uh, yeah, of course, but also, do you really trust the fucking central government and someone like Oswald, considering that the soccer government keeps doing fucking sussy shit the entire time? Like, I agree that the most. The most. The. I think the sussiest among the, the Greens model is definitely Red Shoes, because she gave a special drink to Cinderella, and then she per she participated in the maintenance stuff, right? But now Oswald is like, who are Ansel and Gretel? They weren't supposed to be second green models, so they're also, also sussy Baka. Either way, I would not trust... I would not trust the central government. And we do know for a fact that both Abe... First of all, doesn't trust them either, and I feel like we can probably trust Abe and Grave, right? And Red Shoes, she did say she saw the document, and she was one of the top uh, chief... Um, she was a colleague of Abe. So she would actually know from the VTC official document, because she was part of it. So, I mean... If 90% of the Nikkei's are gonna die from the procedure on the table... I mean, I can understand not wanting to have your brain scanned if you're almost guaranteed to die. The device proceeds to transform into a helmet that covers all of Abe's face. Satan, don't move. Everyone freezes, as if time itself has stopped. Abe looks around and starts moving. You must be tired from coming all the way out here. Why don't you take a little nap? Thud, Oswald falls to the ground. And Abe continues to apply the taser to the other pilot. Taser, taser, taser! You've been tased, it's alright! Sorry, I hate this as much as you do. Is that all of them? Saren, if you would. Reactivating. Time resumes. Abe's helmet retracts back into her collar. Alright, good. The signal jamming function works like a charm. How are you feeling, Siren? Uh, good job. What do we do now? I think we should run away. And Kaito thinks we should finish them off. Finish them off? What do you mean? Red takes her fingers and makes a throat slitting gesture. <laughs> he shouldn't say such things. If we do that, we'll be labeled trains for sure. It seems like Retro is the only one aware of such accidents. She was part of the VTC. Both Red Shoes and Abe were some of the top tier scientists part of VTC. Th that's literally explained the five first episodes. They voluntarily were asked to become Nikkei's so they could keep working on the green models. They do the brain things. The VTC are the one who literally wrote the papers on it. Here. I saw the official documents from VTC. I also read that 90% of the Nikkei's wonder when the procedure died on the table. They were part of VTC, so it makes sense they saw the document from VTC because they worked from it. And they're both scientists that actually built the other Grimm's models. So it makes sense. 
I mean, I'm not saying Red Shoe is not sussy Baka, but the fact that she knows about it isn't that sussy. It, it makes sense. I agree. That's why I think running away is the right choice. Now the guy is being sus. Yeah. I'm kind of worried about... Um, I need to know more. Like, where did Hansel and Gretel come from? Isn't there any other way? We've worked so hard to get where we are. We're on the verge of becoming true goddesses of victory. Enjoy the food, Draken! If you're right, it will be tantamount to us admitting guilt. You're not wrong, but we don't have any other options. Let's move these guys inside while they're down for the count and move. And after... We try and reason with Cinderella. Abe, you know there's never been a recorded case of anyone coming back from corruption. I know that. We'll have to be extra persuasive. What's your plan? Talking with her is an impossibility. She'll attack us on sight. I realize that too. So we'll give her a leaking or two. A leaking? Once we've done that, she might be more open to discussion. Memories of guilt have surfaced from deep within. Okay, we need to go and check them out. Yeah, but like, again, I'm not saying she's clear from suspicion. I'm just saying that while she might be lying and trying to avoid all of that, she also have a very reasonable reason why she might want to avoid that, is what I mean. I, I mean, yeah. Um, so where did the new memories spawn? Oh, there's a shiny little thing in here. Let's go in here. Everything for the goddesses, everything for the goddesses, everything for queen. Alright. Oh, that's Red Shoes. Red Shoes, how could you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is what concerned my observation as far as the phenomenon called corruption. Corruption is a technological invention from the raptures which induces temporary paralysis in the Nika's nervous system. There is currently no known method to counteract this process, but since the effects are mild, the risk level can be considered low. It has also been confirmed to be non-contagious. However, being rendered immobile, even for a brief moment, can be fatal on the battlefield, so caution is advised. Okay, we got all the... The rapture that caused corruption utilizes special tentacle-shaped apparatus that tentacle physically penetrate the Nikki's body, inducing corruption. The duration of the resulting paralysis varies depending on each Nikki, but the specifics have not yet been identified. Additional tracking and observation will be necessary. Tentacles? Yeah. Oh, uh, let me see the map. Do we have any other... I think we've seen that one before. Uh, we'll go to the challenge either way. Uh, we already interacted with those, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright, let's do the challenge real quick. I can quick battle it. Of course, I did yesterday. Uh, okay. It might have just been the addition of red shoes in there. Let me see here. Is that new? No, I think we saw it before. We'll double check real quick. That might be new. Please save us. That is new, I think. It hurts. It's all the people being killed by Cinderella. Why would that nigga do this to us? For funsies. We trust her. She was the goddess of victory. Traitor. Monster. Murderer. Party pooper. Alright, what about the memory shard? What's happening here? We have another BD here. Oh, we've seen that one before already. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright, let's go inside the, the mirror here. 
Uh, was there something else up here? No, we've checked everything. So I think this was the new thing. Uh, okay, uh, back to the story. I think I still have one, right? I think, I think. We'll see. No, I used everything. Never mind. Okay, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. And that will be the last part that we have. Alright, mission-wise... Uh, we still have some stuff to do. Challenge-wise, we got a bunch of things here. Um, I'm gonna grab this there. Yatta! So what I wanna check out real quick is gonna be the shop. Because I've got 2k. Oh, wait. They're deceiving the goddesses. Only you can save them. Okay. So, shopity, shopity, shopity. I can get the title. Lovely. I'll go back to the main menu real quick because I gotta finish my dailies. Yeah, that story was pretty cool. I'm looking forward to more. Tomorrow is gonna be the ending of part one, which I'm looking forward to. And uh, yeah, let you let me know what you guys think on YouTube. What do you think? Who's the traitor according to you? No spoilers, obviously. But yeah, I'm very, very curious. And then obviously we're gonna have to wait until next week so we can get part two. I'm Looking forward to that and uh, yeah, cheers. Uh, so essentially we are gonna finish part one of Old Tale. This is day three. I am not spending gems to get the tickets. So I've been doing them slowly uh, Five at a time and we are finally able to do events 11 and 12 today in theory So that's what we're gonna be doing. First of all, let's us grab the login stamps Here's one of my favorite games. I hope they will maybe run this collab someday. Um, yeah, I hope so too. I hope they kind of like rerun the collab. Maybe get us some... It would be awesome if they rerun the collab. Like if they just do a second collab. Like maybe stronger version of like 2B and uh, A2. And on top of that, they rerun the older versions too. Or like you can get like one of them for free or something. That would be awesome. Because, um... I mean, they're just not that good at this point. I mean, they're still okay. But it would be nice to get some stronger version of them. All right, let's see. Uh, quick battle is still stage one. I bet you give them miss out on too many days if I still didn't pull that way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Also, to be fair, you should n almost never use uh, just normal tickets and gems for like pilgrim banners. The best way is just to get copies of them through just like golden village. But here, because it's like the anniversary event, I did want to. I had saved specifically for that, so you know, might as well. All right, let's go to the story. Uh, there should be some shiny bits and bobs around, so I'll keep my eyes open for those. But first, let me take a selfie. Alright, I'm scared. Alright, two more, and then we're gonna have to wait until next week, right? It's probably gonna be on Thursday? Friday? Wednesday? Uh, I don't remember, but we'll get part two later. Uh, at the same time as uh, when uh, Grave is gonna come out, which is exciting. Alright, let's see what do we have. It's a combat first. I don't know if we're getting a story for event 11. We might after the fight. Oh, sure. I need to be on automatic. <laughs> ah! Have you guys played through the mini game yet? I've played a little bit, but not that much. I need to get more progress there. Oh, we don't even get a story for event 11. All right, event 12. It's happening. See you, Gatama. Thank you so much for the follow. And the cheer is approaching. Commencing attack. The attack squad has all been annihilated. We can't hold her back. The supplies are meant for the Ark. We have to keep them safe. It's impossible. There's no way we can win. Mobilize all troops. We can at least buy some time so others can divert supplies. I'm picking up identified entities. Five in total. The Nikes! Could they be more heretics? Assessing the situation. Five unidentified Nikkei units appear to be engaging with Anchiro. What? Yeah! <laughs> yes, queen! Red Shoes trying to yesify uh, Anchiro insane. Red Shoes leaps into the air. That That's a cake and a half, dude. Oh my god, she brought the entire... Cakery, and I say cakery, not bakery, because clearly this place only makes cakes. 
At the same time, a beam surges towards her. Whoosh! Vetsu's legs burst into flames. She changes direction in mid-air, evading the brunt of the beam's impact. High mobility melee combat gear, red shoes. It's equipped with the main booster as well as additional thrusters, granting the user agility both on the ground and in the air. If you can get close, the main booster can be used to deliver crushing physical blows. Boom! Red shoes kick is blocked by Adichiro's glass sleepers. However, the sheer power behind the strike is still enough to cause her to stagger. She blocked it. Oh. Ah! I love Little Mermaid. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen to her. The orb in Little Mermaid's hand begins to twist and contort. Soon it splits into small orbs which fly toward the Nachiro. A high density polymetal expensive alloy spin drift. A special weapon only Siren can wield. Capable of changing shape entirely. It is controlled by her brainwave. This very. This, this feels like any like. Um, like a uh, shonen anime where like they're fighting and it's like one well, of the characters in the background just being like hmm i see they're using their nan abilities to make the goo sticky in order to uh treat them with the cards he was already dead right away the doppelganger had no effect against him <laughs> it's like <laughs> what you mean <laughs> yes splash 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 if you know what i was talking about specifically based you're based the liquid metal splatters across Anachiro's body. Seemingly unaffected, she deploys glass slippers. Remember what I said about it being able to expand. Little Mermaid whispers softly. Kneel. Thud, Anachiro falls to one knee, as if crushed by an overwhelming force. Spindrift serves as a catalyst to convey Siren's voice, so that only you can hear it. It's perfect for whispering sweet nothings to you, and only you, Ada. What shall we go with, Ansel? Let's heat up the ice queen. Fire it is then. Sounds great. The huge flask that Gretel is holding and the steel pillar Hansel is holding are combined. The liquid in the flask sloshes around violently and the steel pillar vibrates while emitting loud screeches. The ever so adaptable weapon system, which is Cauldron, a specialized weapon operated in unison by Ensel and Gretel. Gretel pieces together the, pe the weapon while Ensel operates it. If I may say so myself, there's nothing they can't create from this system. Oh, look at that! Damn! Flames spew from the bowel of which is cauldron. And a chair who is already on her knees is engulfed in a massive conflagration. Did it work? Oh, we think it will take more than this to fail Cinderella. Looks like you're right. As the flames die down, and Achiro is revealed to be standing completely unharmed. Her entire body is coated in ultra-high strength glass-based coating. Equipped with a generator which can repel any potential enemies and allow for short-term levitation, it is controlled by her brainwaves. A specialized weapon designed for both offense and defense, glass sleepers. A tremendous weapon to begin with, she also has the innate talent and relentless drive required to hone it to a fine point. And Achiro walks forward completely indifferent to the flames. She's my masterpiece. Oh, masterpiece! Oh, where is the success of the goddesses? Gretel and I don't think this is the time to be boasting. I knew it before, but she's truly incredible. I mean, oh. Ow. Yeah, ow. We don't think she was nearly this powerful before. Her specifications were impressive, sure. But after this recent engagement, they've been upgraded even further. She must have undergone modification from the raptures. Modifications? It doesn't make any sense otherwise. This isn't good. I plan to knock some sense into her and try to talk. Hey, but reinforcements are coming. What? Abe looks behind Anachiro. Numerous tanks and mass-produced Nikkei's units are approaching. Damn it, no! Don't come near! A Abe? We need to draw in close. If that many reinforcement arrives. Anachiro leaps into the air, soaring upwards. Uh, she levitates with the sun behind her. She could crush it with a flick of the wrist. A flick of the wrist! So much cool art in this story. Yeah, definitely. I made my f my pen full and I need to grab my pen. My apple pen! Pen, apple, apple pen! There we go. She'll bombard us with hundreds of beams, all while being out of reach of her own attacks. Oh no! Everyone take cover, protect yourselves with whatever you can. Not me! 
Not me! Oh god. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sure everybody's gonna be fine. I'm sure the army's gonna be fine. Nobody's gonna die here. Got him. Alright. Oh! You have obtained a key that can unlock a specific area in the minigame in the mirror. To enter the area, you may need another glass key. Naruhudu naruhudune. Lovely! Alright, let's see what happens here. An Achiro stands in the center of the battlefield, which now resembles a wasteland. The freshly scorched ground smolders from the beam blast. Everyone is either dead or otherwise incapacitated. All except for one, Abe, barely standing, looks ready to collapse at any moment. So strength. This is insane. I don't know what they did to you, but whoever it was, they did a bang-up job. Abe struggles to move forward. Oh, look at her. She looks great here. And that shows face has remained expressionless until now, finally shows emotion. Cinderella, you fool. Get a grip. Do you have any idea what you're putting us through? Ape stumbles forward. Oh! Ooh, yikes! That's a little bit of an ouchie in the leg. Achio's beam pierces through Ape's thigh. The strike clearly not meant as a kill shot. This situation is a first for both Cinderella and Anachiro. Are you having fun yet, huh? Is it thrilling to watch me struggle when you could squash me like a bug without even trying? Alright then, I'll let you keep getting your kicks. Ape continues to walk. Oh, jeez. Mo beams fire. Ape's body becomes increasingly perforated. And during the mind-numbing pain, Ape stands before Anachiro. And her glass sleeper is floating in front of her. A barrage of beam pierces through Ape's body. She knows she doesn't have much time left. This is the end. She forcefully twists the glass sleeper in her hands to face Anachiro. Turning the mirror-like surface towards her. Look. Look at yourself right now. You're so beautiful. The reflection on Glass Slipper's surface shows Anachiro, or Cinderella, holding the severed head of a Nikkei in her hands. Oh! She's having not a good time! What have I done? Cinderella runs and bangs on the invincible wall. Let me out! Let me out! Jesus Christ, the voice acting! I said let me out! On the other side of the wall, an Achiro stares at the fallen Abe. She nudges Abe with the tip of her foot. The object which intrigued an Achiro is no longer moving. I'll never forgive you for this. Never. I'll kill you. I swear it! <gasps> Why do you question your mission? This was never my mission. My mission is to join the goddess and fight for humanity. To become more beautiful than any. No, it's not. Your mission is to serve the queen and eliminate her enemies. Look, this is what happens when you abandon your mission. Isn't it painful? Painful. Remember your mission. And you will find peace. This wall will disappear, and your troubles will vanish. You know that this wall will never disappear otherwise. Now remember your true mission. Cinderella continues to hammer on the invisible barrier. Nothing changes. And the chill leaves Abe's frayed body. She tilts her head and looks around. Then tosses the body to the ground without a shred of emotion. And the chill's gaze then shifts toward the others. Red Shoes, Little Mermaid, and Hansel and Gretel. No! No more! Is it painful? If you stray from your intended mission, you will forever be destined to watch this. You will be powerless to do anything. So accept your true mission and find peace. And Achiro stops in front of Little Mermaid, then reaches out and grabs her chin. Stop! I'll accept it, just stop! I'm glad. There's one condition. What is it? You must kill the goddesses. Do you understand? You live for the goddesses. They are the biggest obstacle to you accepting your true mission. 
That's right. As long as the gods are alive, I cannot accept my true mission. Yes, yes, precisely. Relax and tell me of your own accord that you accept your true mission. So, I'm thinking here that Cinderella is actually being big brain because she thinks that the goddesses will actually be able to stop her. And so her condition is that she has, Anachiro has to actually go and fight the goddesses. And she believes that the goddess is actually going to stop her, right? And so that's why she did that. She's not betraying the goddesses. She's trusting them so much that she thinks she'll be stopped. Then the world will disappear and you will kill the goddesses. Now hurry. I will accept my true mission. <laughs> oh damn. A floating sensation I've lost my body and I'm being pulled somewhere. I am being pulled by myself. The one with the crimson eyes. There is no wall. My body feels lighter. Yes, I will disappear and become her. No longer will there be any walls. That's good. As I must go kill the goddesses. There is no way I can win. How could I possibly defeat the goddesses? Go. Go and fulfill your mission. And once that is done, kill Cinderella. There it is. Damn! All tales to be continued. Memories of hatred have surfaced from deep within. Let's go to the field. So, we don't know what happens to... Because she, she had grabbed... Um, she had grabbed Little Mermaid. But the fact that she accepted it feels like they probably were spared. Right? Is what I'm thinking. Hopefully it's the case. That would be great if those cool new characters... I don't know why I keep doing... There we go. Those cool new characters were just not dead right away. I really hope there's a comeback from her, from them. Such a dark story. Yeah, we're, we're going back to, to peak Nikkei. Uh, let's see, where, where did the changes occur? Is it here? Oh, there's a piece of loot over there. Man, this is rough. Oh, man, that we have to wait for part two is so sad. I want part two now. I want to see what happens next. Oh, I don't think we could interact with it before here. Oh, no, we did. We did interact with it before. All right, let's see. Where are the new um, things of not being happy? Oh, this one is new. There was only two down here. You can still have gotten the factory reset. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Die, Cinderella. Please. Die, please. Well, there we go. She's not happy about herself. Alright. Um, I think this might be the only new one. Let me check. There's are not new. And here, we don't... Yeah, that was the only new one. Fair enough. Okay, very, very cool. Let me see. Story 2 is going to be available on the 6th. So that is in four days, essentially, right? Very, very exciting stuff. I will definitely be streaming it. I'll, I'll do the same. I'll do day 1, day 2, and day 3, because I'll do them 5 at a time. Um, and uh, we'll complete some of that. I'm not going to be doing the mini game right... Oh, although I think there are dailies. You know what? We'll do a bit of the mini game. But yeah, I'm super excited for the for the second part, for sure. Because so far, it's been it's been freaking great. I don't know what you guys think about it. But uh, I've been loving it. And, uh... Yeah, man, I'm having, uh... I mean, we do know how it all ended, right? We do have that part, but, uh... I mean, the thing is that it, it's getting closer and closer to the part we already know, right? So I'm just like... What is the second part? Uh, what is the entirety of the second part gonna be? Uh, it can't just be about like her going to fight the goddesses of victory, uh, the goddesses, uh, the goddess squad, right? So I feel like it's instead of following Cinderella, it has to be about following. Well, maybe we'll see like some of her part, but I think like half of it's gotta be about the old tale squad, right? We're gonna know like what Abe is gonna be doing. We're gonna find out about the mystery of like 
how she got corrupted as well, right? Fushio, thank you so much for the follow. I'm just so lazy, I haven't finished chapter 19, but I broke past level 200, now I'm level 212. Nice, ooh, congratulations. You're getting there. But you should definitely do the story. I think the story is fantastic. But, I mean, you don't have to, obviously. So, uh, yeah, I've been having a great time with the story so far. I think it's really, really cool. I really like the, the old tail squad. I think they look amazing. I think the designs overall are great. It's really nice to see Grave like this, too. And just, like, have all of this confirmation, right? And, um... Yeah, I really hope that they just... They didn't just get destroyed. And they're just gone forever. I really want to see them... Um, do a bit more. Uh, maybe be, you know, another squad of pilgrims out there. Um, or, I mean, what I'm afraid of, right? Is that maybe they got corrupted eventually. And uh, they became heretics, right? I was thinking, what if they are... Like... What if they are, you know... What if they were, like, part of the four beasts or something? I doubt it, though. I doubt it. But there are four of them, so who knows? Uh, but I, 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 I would be surprised, because the abilities are really not the same. But, I mean, Nikkei abilities don't have to translate into new heretic abilities, I guess. Um, or there's also the potentiality that, you know... Because we, we saw, for example, that Little Mermaid's ability is essentially a precursor to Maiden's ability, right? So maybe, did, did they get changed into, like, what if Maiden is actually the future version of, you know, uh, Little Mermaid? But I did that because it's so different. But also, who knows, you know, so I, I'm not too sure. Story 2, okay, so we have to wait for this area. I'm not entirely sure, but I guess we'll find out. I feel like they're most likely pilgrims. I really hope so, because it would be so cool if, like, Grave gets to meet All Tales. Also because All Tales is now the squad of Cinderella and Grave, right? And there's only two characters there. So, to me, this is, like, an open door to get some of the old All Tales. Um, and we do know that they are pilgrims, right? So I would definitely expect the Old Tales Nikkeis to be back as actual pilgrims. Uh, of the old tail squad, right? They could just like, you know, meet again somehow on the surface. I, I think that would be awesome, but you know, um, I would, I, I definitely understand if, if you would think it's more of a, you know, wishful thinking, I guess. This thing here, tragedies? Yeah, I think there's a lot of tragedies, but there's a lot, there's also still a lot of hopes and like, um, good endings happening eventually, right? I mean, I mean, uh, Red Hood and, um, Red Hood that, well, Cinderella is a big example of that, right? Now she's back to herself, so it's not in the realm of, it is within the realm of possi possibilities, in my opinion, that, you know, there could be a, uh, a good resolution to it, right? So we'll find out. I I'm looking forward to it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Alright, let's just not kill them f for like a billion time. Let's see further in. Let me check the map real quick. Oh! It's locked. Let's take care of the raptures around while gathering information. I need to do a specific mission in here. Okay. Objective. Okay, so I gotta fight them over here. Even the hell was holding him intact? Uh, yeah, absolutely. But like, what I'm... Uh, to go back to that and like how they might still be alive because specifically for Little Mermaid because Little Mermaid's ability comes from a mouth um, the first time they got into a confrontation she destroyed her jaw you know so it feels like if she really wants to get rid of them especially if she becomes fully an Achiro like I feel like she's gonna destroy the heads right or like she definitely can at the very least So I have to hang around here? There's an objective uh, exclamation mark there. Let's see. Hello. What do we have here? Maybe there's a secret passage somewhere. How important is it to upgrade equipment? Very much. It is very important to, equip to increase equipment because it's going to increase the power number of Unique's, 
which is going to be incredibly valuable because you get massive debuff when you're fighting enemies at a deficit. Test your strength. Claim, claim, claim. Daily mission, claim all. Claim all again. Keep moving forward and do what you desire. Incomplete. Small ground type rupture in EK3. Oh, so I, I just need to, like, kill a bunch of Nikes, I guess. Oh, oh specific Raptors, sorry. It's just that I've killed all of them, so I need to wait for them to respawn. Uh, so we'll be doing that, but I've already done my dailies at this point, so I might just go and save. And call it there for now, because I, I don't want to play the minigame forever right now. I'll probably do a proper session of the minigame, like, once I have unlocked everything. I just, like, finish the entire, like, game mode at once. This should be enough. With the amount of analyzed data, I should be able to open the lock door. All right, let's do this part then. Let's do this part. So we, we killed enough of the right type of rapture. So let's go up. So yeah, upgrading equipment is very important. Uh, the most important part is definitely going to be to overload your equipment. Um, and the way it function is that once your equipment is like max level. So like, I think it's level nine or 10. So the like the highest rarity. Which, I mean, you might not get around to it, but like, this is late game stuff, or like, me too late game, right? You gain the ability to overload your gear, and you need to have your max level like, equipment to be level 5. So, like, gear level 9, or quality 9, to level 5, to plus 5, and then you can overload the gear. And by using the special crystals, you will get, it's kind of like artifact like in Genshin Impact, for example. You'll be able to. You'll be able to. Oh, there it goes. You'll be able to unlock um, random lines, which can increase the amount of ammo you have, the amount of damage you deal, etc., etc. And that's the very important part. Yeah, T9M, exactly. Tier 9. Tier 9, that's the thing. Max tier, so tier 9, max out at plus 5. Okay, so now we have a transporter. We got some orbs here, I guess. Oh, upgrades. Ooh. This one. Increase attack. Increase HP. Increase something. But those don't require any orb. Increase HP recovery. Let's grab that. Uh, increase movement speed. That's my that's my stuff, baby. That's my stuff. I like movement speed. That's my, my the most important stuff for the kitty. Oh, there you go. Uh, and here we have a shop. Promotion material draft final final edits. A trader adopting the guise of Nikki has emerged from more ranks. Can I read it somewhere? Alright, we've saved. So, collection item. There it is. You need to force the MIT. A traitor that the guys of Nikkei's image from ranks, but fret not for the goddess squad will protect you. This hideous creature will soon kneel before the goddess squad. Oh, so that they're talking about that, that shiro here. Mom, I miss your cooking. I already read this one. And here were some keys. A glass key that can unlock the sealed door leading to the path of death. Is what lies behind the door the result of a difficult choice that, we must, be, that must be made or a testament to an individual's unwavering certainty? A cord that can unlock a door somewhere in the middle world. Most recognition devices in various facilities check for the unique signal within the core. Narukodo. Alright, good stuff. Let's go back to the title here. Boop, grabs. Don't grab my tail, you crazy dastard. Tier 10 becomes locked to the Nikkei and can longer be equipped. Unequipped. Yes, exactly. I love a new way to troll streamers and make them think they are banned from the, their own stream. Wanna see? I, I don't care. Alright, let's see here. Um, we have done our daily missions there. And we're happy. So, on that note, yeah, I think I'll be stopping here for DK. And I'll definitely... Uh, I'll do. I'll be doing my dailies, obviously. But I'm looking forward to uh, getting access to the story part 2. That's gonna be a doozy. I'm so, 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 so hyped about it. Because it's been fantastic so far, and uh, bad. I love Nikkei. Nikkei's story is so top tier. You ain't no crazy dastard. Yes, you are. You, you tried to grab my tail, you absolute goon. 
And uh, let's see here. Missions. Mission. Arigato. Kiwarido. Nya And here we have Claim. We did a 350 challenge. Hell yeah. All right. That was great times. So on that note, we're going to be closing this. I'll see you next time for more Nikkei. But that's all for the stream. I keep streaming. YouTube. I stream almost every day. Join us. It's a good time. Everybody here is super handsome.